What is life? For us patients, dreams, success and careers seem insignificant. We only have one wish. Get better. You are listening to Real Life After Cancer Podcast. Hello, welcome to room 6105, where it all started. Before I begin this very first podcast, let me introduce myself. I'm G, who just recently diagnosed lymphoma cancer. So I've decided to have my podcast in English and my YouTube videos in Mandarin because my non-Chinese and banana friends were complaining and I can't do a real-time translate podcast, right? So they were complaining about the YouTube not having English subtitles and they kind of have to guess what I was talking with their limited knowledge of Mandarin. I'm sorry, uh, because it was an important update about my life in general. And yeah, sorry, yeah. Kasihan yo. You know lah, my current living environment also, so chinape, you know. Now my English also starting to karat here and there. I will slowly add English sub to my YouTube videos for the older ones, but I promise the new ones will have English subtitles as I'm feeling better each day. So I hope that I have more energy to do so. Mm, Back to the topic. Room 6105. Malawati Ward to be more exact. Yes, it is where it all started. 14th of February, 2022, Valentine's Day. I was admitted to Asuntal Hospital. We were lucky enough to have recommendations from a professor who is also my biopsy surgeon to help us out with the admission. He suggested that we have all the tests ready in a private hospital before going to Ambang Hospital for my cancer treatment. Initially, it was just blood tests, CT scans and biopsy. However, during the CT scans, we realized that I was suffered from pulmonary edema. So another surgery was needed to be done. This pulmonary edema gave me a near-death experience that perhaps I will elaborate more in the next podcast. It was scary and I'm really grateful that I'm alive now. So, before we were transferred to Ampang Hospital, COVID test was needed. Uh, It was the peak season where COVID was like everywhere, Omicron season. This was the next scary thing. We found out that we were COVID positive, yes. How on earth, how on earth did we get that? I was wondering. We were in the hospital 24 seven and the only place we got from would be from the hospital itself. Ah, yes, hospital. What irony. So, I was in the COVID ward all alone. My dad wasn't allowed. No carer was allowed. Luckily, it was just for a night because the professor said that they really want to monitor me. I didn't really have any symptoms thanks to the amount of propolis that I was drinking, I suppose. I was really scared, so I drank a lot, a lot of propolis. However, 
COVID world was really scary. Not to mention the price. If you're staying in a private hospital all night long, all I hear was coughing from the next room, from the opposite room, from the room next to me, the other side. So I didn't get to sleep. Yeah. I was the only one not coughing. Nothing at all. And yet the doctor insists to monitor me for at least a night before letting me out. Just because I didn't have any vaccination. I think fear was scarier than COVID, to be honest. So this is how the whole theme, aka my cancer journey, re-life after cancer, came about. So that's how I got diagnosed, lymphoma cancer. And that's like an introduction to this whole theme, to this podcast, to the YouTube series, to my cancer recovery journey that I'm going to share. So, podcast is going to be more casual than the YouTube ones. So, I'm going to share life in general after my cancer diagnosis. And topic that interests me, basically my hobby, such as productivity, personal finance, Lego, music production, self-help, and maybe the latest edition, journaling and calligraphy. So that's the introduction for Real Life After Cancer podcast. And I will be sharing YouTube and also podcast either one every Friday, 8 p.m. Yes. I hope I can do that consistently. Yep. So recently, I've just started a Patreon page as well. So if you guys would like to support me, please head to Patreon slash GSIM. Yeah, that's my name, J-Y-I-S-I-M. Thank you for listening to Real Life After Cancer podcast. This is G signing up.